So everybody's dying to know what made a Dana 60 pretty much blow the top off of the housing. Well, I'm gonna come clean with you guys a little bit right now. I might have been the one who installed the 538 gears in this truck right before the race. And while I do know how to install gears and I've done hundreds and hundreds of gear installs, I may have cut a corner and may have reused the pinion nut and reused the bearings because it's a race truck. You're not supposed to put Gucci parts in it. And the one thing I may not have done is put enough Loctite on the pinion nut. So we're going to do a little forensic looking into this and see what we can find out. But here's the first thing, and it's not looking good for me. So here's the front drive shaft and yoke. And if you look down in there, no pinion broken off, no nut in here tight. So, so far what this is showing us is that the pinion nut simply rattled loose. And as soon as the yoke popped off, that pinion went north. So we're going to go take the cover off and see if uh, there's any more evidence to prove this and to throw it all back on me. So we'll find out. All right, well, this is what came out of the front end. So carrier looks slightly scarred. The ring gear teeth are broken. We got bearing pieces. We got just a pile of metal and here's our pinion. So the first thing we'll do is take a look at the carrier. So the carrier, look at that, spins right nice and smooth. Bearings are good there. If you go ahead and turn the axle, spider gears are still in perfect shape in there. So went through some abuse. So this is definitely pointing in the direction of my screw up. So let me show you what I'm thinking. So here's the pinion and the pinion is broken off clean. So a lot of people would think, oh, they landed on the gas or something and broke the pinion. If that would have been the case, then the pinion nut and the broken piece of shaft would still be in the front yoke. This hasn't come apart yet. Well, that's not the case. The only way there could be nothing in there is if just the nut fell out and the pinion fell out after that. So here's what happened. Pinion's in here, they're going around the racetrack, nut comes loose, yoke falls off right when they're decelerating off the jump. The pinion drives itself forward because there's no more nut holding it in. As it hits the carrier, it pries it up, wedges it up into the top of the housing, breaking the housing. When it does that, the rest of the pinion gets wedged into the main pinion bearing race, snaps it in half. The pinion continues to be stuck between the carrier and the ring gear all the way around and ends up right here up against the diff cover with the broken off piece of the pinion launched into space. What happens then? They unlock the hubs, they put Matt in the truck, and they race another six laps to take second in the race. So this just goes to prove how strong these Super Duty housings really are. I'm half tempted to put another ring and pinion in this thing, put it back in the truck and take it to round three in NorCal Rock Racing and see if we can finish the whole race with the hole in the top of the housing. But Super Duty housings are plentiful. We have them laying all over. The guys are willing to do it. So I'm gonna let them go ahead and swap it out, put another set of 538s in it, and uh, come out and see us round three, NorCal Rock Racing, I believe the weekend of July 18th. Later. Almost forgot. The moral of the story, don't let the boss touch anything in the shop. Leave it to the professionals.